No more! No more! <laughs> See, Jamari needs siblings, okay? Because he's all up on me like this. I love all the love, though. All the love you're giving me, okay? You even kiss your own hand. Ain't that cute? Hi everybody. Is this can you please eat, eat that chip, babe? Eat it. Eat it. I gotta get a scoot over here. Hi everyone, it's Deja Ashanti and I am here with Jamari. Jamari, please close your mouth. Jamari, <laughs> close your mouth. Close your mouth. Okay, this is my son. Jamari, can you say hi? Hi. Hi, say hi everyone. Hi everyone. Say my name is Jamari. My name is Tori. How old are you? How old are you? No, how old are you? J. I-M-O-I So he thought I asked him to spell his name. He spelled Jamari, but he forgot an A. But he's doing really good. How old are you? Four. Four? Yes. And Jamari is a mild autistic. Jamari has been diagnosed with, with autism when he was three years old and for some reason the doctors didn't know before me i was the one who had set up the appointments and all that because when he was one years old i figured it was something different with him i just didn't know what it was i remember the day that it clicked in my head it was like he has to be autistic because I don't know anybody who has autism. Nobody in the family is autistic, you know, so. Oh, hi, YouTube. Yo, YouTube. Say hi, YouTube family. I can't have to eat. No, baby. <laughs> Jamar, my arm is saying, you can get down. You want to sit back over there? Sit back over there? You can. <laughs> you want to watch the Mario game? Yeah, he's watching the Mario game. He don't have a game yet, but his dad's going to get him one because he's very interested in Mario. This is my little handsome, chunky, chunky man. No! Yes, you are. You just my handsome, little, chunky, chunky. You my bookie wookie. Hello? Yes, you are. Yes, you are my bookie wookie. So, um... Yeah, when he was one years old, he used to like hum a lot, grind his teeth. He would always like grab my ears. So, and then he was he would walk on his tippy toes. And then I was like, hmm, that's that's a little different, you know. So then he got a little older. Um, yeah, he would still hum. He would do the humming thing and. And then um, when like grown men would say hi to him, you know, they have deep voices, he would cry. And I was like, baby, why are you crying? They're just saying hi. Baby, why are you crying? Why are you hi? Yeah, they were just saying hi to you. And he would cry, like it would hurt his feelings because their voice was like really loud. So it sounds scary to him. But at that moment, I didn't know. I was just like, it's okay, babe. So I would hold him. Mwah. Yeah, it's okay. You got my lips all wet. A little juicy kiss. Okay, okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, Buki. Okay, no more. No more. No more. No more. <laughs> See, Jamari needs siblings, okay? Because he's all up on me like this. I love all the love, though. All the love you're giving me, okay? You even kiss your own hand. Ain't that cute? Kissing your own hand. Yeah. So, um, where was I at? Mommy. Oh, yeah, because the Mommy. voice. Mommy! Yes. Wap. Huh? Wap. On my lap? Sit down there. I'm Swami Mommy. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I get distracted a lot with Jamari. But I but if he's calling me, then for the most part I always answer him because I know how it feels. You know, I'm not gonna ignore him. You know, he has my attention. But um yeah, so it was really loud and really scary. I didn't know that that was going through his head, you know. And then his second birthday, we was at Chuck E. Cheese and we all was singing happy birthday. I have a clip, so you know I I'm going to try to find it. Hopefully, I can find it. But we sung happy birthday to him, and he starts crying. And, I, and then, so everybody had to stop singing. So to him, now that I know he's autistic, to him, the, it was so super loud to him. And I don't, he just didn't like it, so we had to stop. So I was like, hmm. So he doesn't like when people are singing really loud or... You know, and then it was another incident where where we were at a funeral and they were singing on a microphone really loud and he just started crying again. So I covered his ears and that helped, you know, because if, if it didn't help, I was going to walk out of, walk out of there since they were singing. But um, he didn't like that either. So I'm like... I'm like, what's going on, my baby? Like, I need to figure this out. You know, because it would, it would make me really sad because I don't like to see him like that because I'm like, it's something different. Because he is very smart. So that's how I, I knew it was like something else because Jamari, okay, he's four years old now and he can write any number. If you tell him to write number one, one through 100, he can write it. He's four. Well, he at three years old he can do that. He's four now, and now he know how to read music notes. Like he knows all his alphabets. Um, he knows how to write letters and cursive. Yes. So I knew something was different. I just didn't know what it was. And so I told his doctor because you know what? It was something that happened. I had saw this um, this video from Super Nanny, and she had to come to somebody's house because their kid was like it was really hard to deal with this kid. And when she got there, she um, they told her that he was autistic, and a lot of the stuff that the boy was doing was a lot of the things that he was doing, and I just started crying. I was crying because it was like a relief. Cause I knew what it was, even though he didn't get diagnosed. That's that's that moment, like where a mom know their kid. Like I'm, I was, I didn't go to school for nothing, you know, to diagnose my son. But that's that's the moment that I knew, you know what I'm saying, that he was autistic. And I was just crying so hard, and I was telling his dad at that time. His dad didn't believe it, like he didn't he didn't think so. Cause Jamari is so smart. You know, and they don't have to do, they don't have to do with, with that, you know, it has nothing to do with that. So, um, so his dad was like, calm down, you know, like, if, if he is, you know, we're going to get him looked at and everything will be okay. And then he's, he, yeah, so, so then I had, um, like, I was crying a lot, like, when I, Cause I, when I had that flashback of that TV show, I was like, wow. And I had, I went to the video again, I looked for it. And then I saw more stuff that Jamari was doing. I was like, wow. And I have nobody in my family who has autism, like on, on my biological side. Like I asked my mom, cause you know, I don't really know a lot of my family. And she said she didn't know any anybody who has autism. And then I asked my fiance, Rick, his side, and he said he don't have anybody in his family who's autistic either. So I honestly believe it was from the vaccinations that um, he got when he was a baby, because that's a possibility. Um, but that's that's what I really believe it is. Um, even though they say it's it's not a hundred percent reads that they don't uh, they don't know 100 percent what causes it but i believe it was the vaccination so um so yeah i brought it to my doctor the doctor kept saying oh he's young he'll get he'll he'll start doing this like i was telling them stuff that he wasn't doing at his age that he should have been doing 
oh he he'll get it um some some kids learn and that is true but but if I'm saying it as a concern, and I kept saying it so many different times because Jamari kept getting different doctors, and I I couldn't stand that. I'm like, if y'all don't y'all write this in y'all notes and stuff. Like I was getting so mad, so I had to push it. So what I did was because you know how the government is, they don't play about their money. So what I did was to get this rolling, I signed up for assistance for SSI. So they was the one who contacted the doctors and was like, okay, we need to get him evaluated. I was like, so it took me to do all that just to get him evaluated? Like, that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. I was so mad. But I got it done. I got it done. So, um, so he got evaluated. And she she knew right off back that he was autistic, but she said he was mild autistic. <sighs> Those evaluations, it, it was good, though. I was sitting there through them, and... I already knew, but she confirmed it, and now he's in, uh, now he goes to therapy, and he's got a lot better, like, with communicating, he's not where he needs to be still, he got a lot better with his communication, um, but my baby is so smart, like, if I would have known he would be autistic before I had him, I still would have had him. Like, he was playing. Like, I wanted to have a kid. When I was I was 21 when I had him, and I knew I wanted a kid. And I wouldn't, and I, if, if time was, was the verse, I'd do the same thing. Um, I just didn't know it would be this hard. Like, if he wasn't autistic, it would be easier don't get me wrong but things happen unexpected so you got to expect the unexpected I didn't expect it I didn't even know what autism was and I I would love to spread it around and so people can know more about it because I didn't have a clue like I, I was starting from scratch and a lot of people need to know more about it because like people in high school they don't know about kids that's at their school that's autistic because I'm sure Jamari is going to be going to a regular school because he's in special needs now. But they told me his progress is, is really good. So he's going to graduate out of being going to therapy and he's going to graduate out of special needs class. He's super smart and he's he just needs the communication part and the social ability needs to get better with, um, with people around him and that's that's it that's it so i just think a lot of schools need to talk more about that because now that i think about it it was a a, a guy in my high school he was autistic i didn't know but he he came across as weird and slow but he was very smart he was not slow he was very smart but he came across weird and if if kids would have an understanding of why, because it was he wasn't he ain't trying to be like that, you know. If people had an understanding why, then uh, people would treat others differently, especially um, those who are autistic, you know. And I think about that too. Like I just don't want you know anybody to to be really mean to, even though it's gonna happen, but. And Jamari is so cute. I mean, who he's so handsome. So I think people would try to pick at him anyways because he's handsome and smart. And he I, and I know he's not gonna want to like start conversations with people or you know the kids around him or whatever. So I'm just gonna hope for the best when he goes to school, when he goes to high school and middle school. I'm gonna hope for the best and, and always try my best too. And this is this is why he got better so quick because at home, I'm I'm with him. I'm I'm teaching him what he needs to do. I'm working with him at home as well as he's getting help at therapy as well as he's getting help at school. So he got three support systems around right now that's helping him out, so he can get better. And that's why he's progressing so quickly. But I love my son. He is amazing. 
if you want to know more about autism um i'm going to put some stuff together and make a separate video about that so you guys can can learn a little bit more and oh, I, I might make him his own channel but thank you for watching make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video make sure you comment and i will see you on the next video thank you guys